So the next thing that you want to do is when you click on edit, you want to click on preferences. When you click on output, What's up guys, my name is Alex and it is Monday, it means a new After Effects video. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to export your project to MP4. So I've showed you guys how to render out in, you know, in, in uh, 60 FPS, 50 FPS. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to export in MP4 actually. So I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. Okay guys, so I am on After Effects and I'm going to use this video, the intro of this video actually to, well, the, the intro clip. I'm going to show you guys how to render this. I'm going to use this clip, that's what I would, that's what wanted to say i'm going to use this clip to show you guys how to render out in mp4 that's what i wanted to say first of all what you want to do if, you, if you're done editing you just want to select everything in your timeline that's what i always do also in sony vegas to make sure that i don't that i don't have any like access black thing like you know space for like that and that adds like another 30 minutes i just want to select everything and render it out like like how it's supposed to be so i'm just going to select everything that i want to render out and um first of all guys next the first thing that you want to do actually is when you go to composition and you want to add this to a render queue and right at the bottom there are some things so if you want to click on this one the best settings it opens up some render settings so the first so the first thing that you want to do is when you click on best for the quality the resolution when you keep that on full of course and then i would say for the time sampling i would say I'll just leave it how it is make sure those three are correct when you click on okay so the next thing that you want to do is when you click on edit you want to click on preferences when you click on outputs normally there's you know there should be a box right here that's not there so what we want to do first is you want to click on cancel so what you want to do is you want to add this to a render queue and you want to click on this very one at the bottom then you want to click, you know go to the format and you want to pick quick time then you want to click on format options video codec and you want to pick h.264 and then you want to click on composition and you want to click on add to adobe media and code queue so the next thing that you want to do is you want to click on uh Okay, guys, uh, I have to. End, I think I have to end off the video right here because After Effects is not even properly working anymore. I've tried to do the fixes, everything. So, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Uh, I'm sorry that I did not, you know, cover it, you know, quite everything. So, I'll, I'll promise to make a video about it, like, how to do this properly, like, you know, without getting, like, this freezing and everything. So, I have to end off the video, guys. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to end off the video right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for two OBS tutorials as always. And um, I'm going to try to fix this, guys. Don't worry. And I will see you guys tomorrow. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May. And then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You. A fucking troll. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tie with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.